Good morning. My name is Heather Toth and I'm the Director of Children's Ministries at Sterling Church. And I'm so happy everyone's here this morning. I want everyone to put their pretend cap on. Ready? Okay. I want everyone to pretend they are holding this egg. Eggs are fragile when they haven't been cooked, right? They can break super easy. Now pretend you have to carry this fragile egg around with you all day. No matter what you have to do, you have to carry this egg and protect it. You have to make sure it does not break. Whew, what a day that would be. Do you think you can make it through the day? Brushing your teeth, making breakfast, doing your schoolwork, even playing with your friends. Wow, that sounds really hard. Have you ever heard the phrase, it's easy to break a promise, but hard to keep them? I think that would be the same as this egg. It's easy to break an egg, but it's hard to keep it whole. Why do you think that is? For the egg, it's because it's fragile. The shell cracks super easy and it's liquid inside. But what about promises? Why would those be easy to break, but hard to keep? I think it's because sometimes we promise something we don't want to do or something else might come up that sounds like more fun. If you don't want to do some, if I don't want to do something that I promised, I might come up with a reason not to do it. And then I've broken my promise. And not only is my promise broken, but the other person might be sad too. And then I've broken the trust that I had with that person. That doesn't feel good, does it? One thing we're going to hear in today's Bible story is that when you say yes, you should mean yes. And when you say no, you should mean no. That is Jesus telling us to keep our promises, even if they are hard. As Christians, we want to be someone that others can trust. But if we break a lot of promises just because we want to, we won't have that trust from others. So next time someone asks you to make a promise, make sure it's something you can do. And this isn't the same as getting requests from the adult in your life to clean your room or do your schoolwork. Those are things you have to do because you're part of a family and a school. The promises I'm talking about that are like the egg are extra things we do that help other people and help you be a good Christian to your neighbors and friends. How cool is that? Let's end in prayer. Ready? Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for everything you do. We will always try to keep our promises. We want to be good Christians to those around us. Amen.